hello everyone so we will continue over the interview preparation part in the previous video we have seen couple of the question which was generally asked in interview so we will continue with that and in this particular video we are going to understand and most important topic that is a sql query optimization from an interview perspective also and from a development perspective also all the developers should know what are the different optimization technique whenever we write a query how actually we can write in a efficient way these are the things actually everyone should know okay so that actually we are going to discuss so we will start with the what is a query optimization first we'll try to understand what is query optimization and then we will see what are the different ways through which actually we can optimize our query okay so let us start with that the first one is like query optimization okay what is query optimization so it is a process of writing a sql query in a efficient way to increase the database performance okay so for taking example suppose you are working in a development environment suppose you have written a complex query even though you are executing those query you are not seeing any performance issue because generally what happen whenever we work in a development environment we generally will be having a less data okay and the same thing actually when you are testing into the production environment right there actually we generally get a millions of the records and more than that right so in that case the performance issue comes into the picture okay means our your query is taking a longer time it is not uh, increasing the user experience so there are so many kind of the issue we generally face okay to overcome this we can use a we should know the query optimization technique okay now let us try to understand how what are the different ways through which actually we can optimize our query okay so first is indexing what is the first first one is the indexing okay what is indexing index are generally used to retrieve your data faster okay when we use a uh, uh, indexing right it actually helps to retrieve our data faster as compared to the not using a indexing okay for taking example suppose you have a table okay suppose you have a table in the table you have a millions of the record you have a millions of the record suppose uh, millions of the records is there in this particular table okay now what actually you are so searching in this particular table you are searching a 1 million record okay suppose you are searching where salary equals to the 1 lakhs okay here actually what you are searching you are searching a 1 lakhs okay give me the result where salary equal to the 1 lakhs and you have a this much salary okay this much record also and this much salary record also you have okay i am just taking example okay now when you will write a query right where so what actually it will happen it will try to search into the whole table okay and it is present in the last right means you are searching in the whole table where suppose you have a 1 million record so you are searching in the whole 1 million record that increases the performance issue okay to overcome this we have a indexing concept when we use a indexing right and the syntax is very simple create index and the index name on table and the column name suppose you want to create a index on the particular salary column okay so what you will mention in the column you will mention the salary okay and the indexing will be apply okay and what generally happen it use a b tree it use a b tree data structure which generally helped to retrieve our data faster and also in increase the performance okay for taking example okay suppose this is a uh, my table okay or you can take a example of the employee id suppose you have a 1 to 1 million employee id now you are searching the employee id equal to the 40000 okay now what you will do when you will use a uh, uh, when you will not use a index it will do a full scan into the whole table but when you are using a indexing right it will use a b tree okay so how actually it will search you are searching for the 40000 right so first it will come into this particular the first graph okay 1 to 1 million okay now we are searching for the 40000 okay then it will directly go to the left node it will not go to the right node because 40000 is Uh, will be present here right it will not go to the right side because right side we have information from the 51000 to the 1 million so in that bucket it will not go it will search into the left bucket okay once it will come into the left bucket okay now again uh, whether we have a record into the 51 to 50000 right so again it will search in the left side you can see we have 1 to 30k in the right side we have a 31 to the 50k okay what we are searching we are searching for the 40000 so it will directly go to the right side okay so this is how the b tree structure works and it will improve the performance okay i have just given you the high level idea but that is how actually it works i hope you got it okay so this is how actually it works and it actually try to improve the performance so always try to use the indexing which generally help you to increase the performance okay 
if you want to know more about it please do comment so that i will make it separate videos for the indexing okay now let us try to understand the se second method and uh, what are the different other method through which actually we can optimize our query the second is the replace union with a union all okay replace union with a union all so what generally happen when you use a union right it will remove the duplicate it will remove the duplicate and this is a time consuming it is a time consuming also and when we use a union all it will show all record it will show all the record record even though the duplicates is are there or not okay M means when you aware like in the table you don't have any duplicates so avoid using the union all uh, avoid using the union use a union all okay because whenever you have to use a union or the union all right always try to use a union all because it will it is a uh, efficient as compared to the union because in the case of the union right it will first remove the duplicates or the data so it is a uh, time consuming okay so that is why avoid using the union use a union all okay now third one is like select instead you select instead of the select star so generally what happen when you join organization you get a database and you try to search a table okay when you are searching a table generally what actually happen it generally try to stuck also or sometime it get lock also or it or it is taking a longer time this kind of the issue generally we face okay because what we do we try to use a select star from a table this kind of the query we try to write okay so that is not a efficient way because this will try to search the whole table okay and this is a time consuming also and uh, it will it take the resources also okay so instead of that try to use a select column name okay column name from a table okay whatever the column you are interested you can use that or you can use a limit limit also you can use like you can use a select of five from a table okay or you can use a select star uh, select uh, star from table limit table a limit five or something okay so this kind of the thing actually you can use so avoid using a select star you can use a limit okay and here also you can if you know the column name try to use a column okay that is the efficient way okay the next thing is like minimum use of distinct okay because in the case of the distinct right what does distinct do it will try to give you the unique record it will try to give you the unique record in this case the all the duplicate removal happens right so it is time consuming so try to av avoid using the distinct okay now the next thing is like don't use is not equal to the okay so suppose you have to some condition you are putting where you want to check the is not equal to the is not equal to the 50000 this is the condition you want to check okay so if in this kind of the case if you have some other method try to use that because when you are applying a indexing and when you are using this is not equal to okay so in this case the indexing doesn't work okay so don't use is not equal that is the one efficient way and try to use some other method okay or you can use a uh, joining also you can prefer it okay okay so if you can achieve the same result okay so that is the thing you have to remember okay don't use count use exist for the finding suppose you have to find a result in the table where the money is present or not okay where employee name is equal to the money is present in the table or not okay so instead of writing a query like select count from table where uh, name equal to the money is okay instead of writing this try to use a try to use a exist try to use a exist because when you use a exist right what generally happen suppose you have 1 million of the record okay in the 1 million of record if any of the record it is matching with the existing condition in that in that case only it will get stopped suppose it is matching in the second record itself so it will stop it and it will give you the results so that is how the exist works okay so try to use exist instead of the counts that is the thing you have to remember okay the next thing is like use like operator wisely okay so suppose generally what happens suppose you have to search all the employee details who is starting with the name a v a v okay so instead of writing this instead of writing uh, like this condition okay because if you write where name equal where name like percentage av percentage okay in this case what actually happen it will try to scan the whole table instead of that what actually you can write you can write av it is starting with the av right okay so th this is the thing actually we have to remember okay we have to use like operator wisely also okay and the next one is like use limit order top that actually already we have seen okay suppose you want to see only the how the table structure looks like so always try to use a limit top instead of using the select star from the table okay 
and the next thing is like avoid multiple joining we all know like the joining takes a huge time okay so if you are using a multiple joining try to minimize that try to use some timetable and based on that actually try to join uh, try to use that to utilize that so this kind of the thing which we have to remember okay so these are the different ways which through which actually we can optimize and which we should aware okay